The latest in display technology, and you won't believe your eyes. Rich Samir explains in today's TechSmart. Hi, okay, Rich. I can't believe it. <laughs> well, you're going to see it in a second, oh, but okay. you know, we, we think of screens getting bigger, but yep. they're also getting smaller, and not just that, they're getting rollable, they're getting foldable, bendable, and tiny. The latest display technologies are all about putting information everywhere in form factors that fit anywhere. From massive 16K to micro. It's a lot to see in there. New display technologies are changing the way we see things. Essentially, everything that's defining the next five to six years of consumer electronic devices are being demonstrated here. Every year, the Society for Information Display gets together to show off their latest innovations at an event called Display Week. So these displays that you have today in your home on your body, they were invented years ago. So here at the show, you get to see the future of display technology, where things are headed. This means screens in a variety of form factors, from a 65-inch folding display to rollable and flexible. Not only are displays getting bigger, they're also getting smaller. This is a 1.3-inch 4K micro OLED display. Look inside, and it's like seeing an entire world come to life. Oh, wow. Micro displays among the most exciting categories. This display is so small, I need a magnifying glass to see it. They'll power mixed reality headsets and glasses, which means less looking down at a phone screen. It's uh, additional information you can need get immediately to your eye or you can get overlaid to the real world. Oddfly developing displays that beam directional audio only you can hear. So I can hear the audio here, I can hear it coming towards me, but if I step aside, I no longer hear it. Now it's back. In the future, e-ink might be in more than just your Kindle with potential to power everything from street signs to posters. You get full color that looks just like printed paper. It's very low power, so it's only using power to update an image and not to maintain it, which means you've got incredible power savings and no light emission. Over the years, we've heard a lot about smart glasses with those tiny displays in them, but it seems like that technology is finally starting to catch up to the hype, so expect to see some of that soon. If you want to see more of that display tech, you can go to my Instagram, at Rich on Tech. Uh, it's pretty mesmerizing. And next week, Apple is expected to launch a virtual reality headset. Okay. Some of that technology that we saw is expected to power that. Mm -hmm. So that wow. tiny little lens that mm -hmm. you see, yeah. that you're going to be looking at now, wow. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. incredible. All right, Rich, thank you. Still